Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Bellevue Theatre. Uh, it's my job just to offer uh, a few words of introduction to the next item um, tonight, which is the unveiling of the world premiere of the transmigration of Morton F. Um, this is a co-commission between the Holland Festival and La Monnaie in Brussels, and we are absolutely thrilled to welcome all of you to this exciting uh, unveiling. Um, the Holland Festival has always had a tradition of innovation, and it has a long and proud history of introducing new artists and new art forms and new ways of making art uh, to audiences here in Amsterdam. Last year, we introduced the idea of a digital commission, a commission that you could enjoy via your computer. Actually, last year, um, we uh, uh, unveiled the Book of Sand, as some of you will know, and that you can still get um, if you go to any app store and put in the Book of Sand or Holland Festival, you can download a piece by Michel van der Aar, which you can enjoy on any mobile device you happen to own. Um, tonight, you're going to see um, uh, a piece that you can enjoy on your computer. And for us, it is uh, a, an extraordinary privilege to w encourage artists to share with you really the cutting edge of new ways in which they can invite you not just to act as audiences, but in fact to become participants, to become part of a piece of art. So uh, I'm going to hand over now to those that really know what they're talking about and who can give you the world premiere sneak preview. Um, so Sharon, Anat and Ruben, can you come to the stage please? Thank you. Is this on? Yes, hello everybody. <laughs> Welcome, thank you for coming for the sneak preview of the transmigration of Morton F. Um, it's a website, an interactive website, a computer game, um, a digital opera, and above all, an ode to Morton Feldman, an American composer um, of whom I'm a huge fan. Um, Anat and I have been working for together for more than 20 years now, and Morton Feldman has always been one of our inspiration. Um, so to kind of uh, to have this chance to create um, an ode to him is it was a, like a, a huge meant a lot for us. It was a huge thing for us. Um, we're not going to show you the whole work tonight uh, tonight because we want you to go home and go online and do it yourself. But we will show you a couple of things, because, you know, you came anyway. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say two things. First of all, is we're not going to show you the beginning, and we're not going to show you the end, because these are important things, and you should see them yourselves. <laughs> we're going to show you the middle, and the middle is compiled of three scenes, two uh, based on compositions by Morton Feldman, and one scene is a, compo a composition by Anna Spiegel, and above all, we have um, John LaBarba, the one and only John LaBarba, starring in the transmigration of Morton F. And Boyan, um, <laughs> our, um, well, you will see him a bit later on screen and here live on stage. And together they carry this whole film. But um, this is a labor of love of many, many, many people who worked and are still working on it to uh, make it as perfect as possible. So I want to start with thanking everybody who worked and is still working on this project. Thank you, thank you, because maybe we will forget it at the end, but I love you and I think we are all very thankful to you. In short, the transmigration of Morton F is um, kind of a, a hallucination, and Alice in Wonderland has a hallucination with Joan as our um, Alice, and Boyan is our white rabbit. <laughs> um, it's, um, uh, well, the movie, st the, 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 the game starts with an introduction video in which Joan recognizes. Joan plays herself, she is Joan, and she recognizes in this boy that keeps on popping up everywhere in Amsterdam, um, the late Morton Feldman, so she follows him, 
And with the, um, at the end of the first clip movie, she finds herself in um, a cemetery. And we're gonna show you a part of that, uh, like, uh, of that section. So, after, as Boyan leads John to the cemetery, um, we leave it for you, the um, viewer, to play at home. You have to follow Boyan till, um, <laughs> as, as the avatar, maybe we can see the avatar if we look down. We have <laughs> Joan. And on your way following um, the child, you have to collect uh, symbols and <laughs> bones. And in order to get to the finale, you have to collect all seven of them because we will not let you in to see the grand finale if you didn't collect all of them. Um, so this is, um, this is the, um, the chance for the viewer to become, um, as Joan becomes Feldman in a way, you the viewer can become Joan. Um, I think we can skip this um, and move to, f to the second video. We're gonna jump to a, a scene, this is, oh, it's not the beginning. Yeah. And we're gonna show you um, the second scene of the movie um, based on the composition, chorus and instruments two. I think you need to be on the...
Hey, that was scene number one. <laughs> you can see that's where you, the viewer, need to take it over again. Um, so um, there's the second layer that um, un uh, unveils. I didn't, I, I didn't unveil it completely because I wanted to keep kind of a keep things for you to do at home. Um, in that, um, in those second layers, we actually see the child at the depot of the Stadelk Museum here studying two paintings by Philip Guston, who was um, for a long time uh, Feldman's best friend. And as Feldman said in some interviews, the reason he started composing, um, but I won't get into the details of it, but their friendship broke as um, Guston shifted from abstract, abstract expressionism to figurative painting. So this is kind of a something that we deal with um, in different layers in the movie, and one of the, the ways of doing that is this second layer. It will also appear in the next scene we're gonna watch. Um, that is, yeah, that's um, Vertical Thoughts number five by Feldman.
we didn't unveil the second layer, but you know it's there. So <laughs> again, there's something for you to do at home. Um, we're gonna jump now to the third scene. Um, just a second. Yeah, let me get to the screen. And um, before we watch that scene, I would like to ask Anat and Ruben, but first Anat, maybe to tell us something about the composition of this piece, The Transmigration of Morton F. Anat. Thank you. Hi. Um, when working on this project, we first uh, chose together the pieces of Feldman. Uh, as you can sense, they have a very ritualistic, very meditative nature. Uh, the idea of taking those small little pieces of Feldman uh, and then creating a middle section which will be kind of same in volume or length with my own music, trying to kind of transmigrate, reincarnate, reinterpret, rethink Feldman in my own music. It was a big challenge. Um, the way I chose to go about it is to try and kind of extract particular elements that I found that were touching to me. There are a few pieces of Feldman that I included in my research that are not officially a part of this piece. One of them is Three Voices for John La Barbara, which is a great inspiration for us. Um, and the other one is the viola in my life. So I took instruments from all the different pieces that are played in here and created some sort of a ad hoc ensemble from all of them. Uh, included also three voices, uh, which are not only mine and not Joan, unfortunately, wasn't there, but uh, we had also Stephanie Janssen and Vanya who were recording with us. Uh, the text in this piece is kind of a collage of text from Feldman pieces. So it's again extracting an element and rearranging it. And of course we have the viola, which was a big love of Feldman. It had to be included and it's actually not included in any of the other pieces we chose. Um, Another way of thinking of Feldman was looking at his uses of percussion instruments, which you could also hear in the previous piece. There's a sense of phrasing and talking in his percussion that is really not rhythmical in a traditional kind of way. Drums never make, that the percussion never make a beat in a way. It's always asking a question, phrasing a sentence. And I try to use the percussion in a similar way when writing my own piece. It was a fascinating journey going into the music of someone that's very, very hard to pinpoint. Because in essence, you always know when you hear a Feldman piece, it's so Feldman. And yet, what is it that make it Feldman? He always refused analysis. If you try to look at his pieces, it's very hard to analyze them in a traditional way. And it was really being a little bit myself, Alice in Wonderland, chasing the white rabbit, which is Morton Feldman in the process of making this. Um, I think that's what I can say for now. You can watch it and hear it. Well, before we're gonna watch it, I, um, because this scene is kind of a, the incorporates uh, all the elements that we had before, so um, film videos and virtual reality. I would like to ask Ruben van Leer, our creative producer, who did an amazing do a job in combining all these extreme, extreme complicated uh, new techniques and kind of uh, making this happen. I would like to ask him, maybe you can tell us a bit about that challenge. Um, yeah, so what I love about Sharon's work is uh, basically uh, that uh, that you're kind of bringing in all these different disciplines, and uh, basically we brought it also to this to this interactive website, and we were really questioning what is this interactivity, right? And um, we uh, filmed with a VR camera, but also with a film uh, crew, and the VR uh, 360 video you're going to see now as well is uh, is basically we're shifting perspectives, and. Um, also in the piece we're going to see now with the music of Anat, uh, Sharon also invited two uh, different uh, artists 
uh, Jennifer T and uh, Miri Lee, who's doing a beautiful performance on uh, on these I installation uh, uh, pieces, and also dancers uh, and a piece uh, by the Nicole Bödler a dance group. And these are the two moments when we shift perspectives and basically point of view. We become part of uh, of the ritual, and in a way, Morten Feldman becomes part of us, and this universal knowledge becomes part of us, which is basically the the spin-off when you collect all the seven bones in the game this is kind of the reward in the end that you have to experience yourself uh, online you get to become feldman if you're lucky <laughs> so um i'll start uh, with uh, with uh, the 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 bigger piece of of the work and to finish off with with this film work and then uh, we can uh, do maybe some questions later
Okay, that's everything we wanted to share with you tonight. Um, we're gonna... Yeah, you can kill this, Ruben. <laughs> Thank you. Um, before we're gonna um, open the, st the stage for you, um, if you have questions or remarks or requests. But before that, I want to uh, mention two people specifically. Um, I want to mention Jamie Mann, our musical director and conductor who conducted the orchestra of La Monet um, together with um, a couple of singers and a choir. I don't know if Jamie is here. I hope she is. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you very much. <laughs> the second person I would like to to thank is our marvelous director of photography, Remco Schnorr, who I depended on so much for this project. Remco, I saw you coming in, so I know you're here. Thank you, Remco. <laughs> and as I said before, there are many, many other people who we need and should thank, but if I'll start thanking everybody now, um, 
the streaming will have to go forever. So thank you everybody who worked on this project. Thank you very much. Um, go online everybody, it's there. Um, just make sure you have a good internet connection and headphones so you can uh, enjoy the full scope of the music. Thank you Ruben, thank you Anat. Questions? No? Okay, I'll take that as a question. And the answer is yes. <laughs> um, in that case, if there are no questions, uh, we would like to invite um, Boyan and Joan to the stage to perform a new composition Joan wrote for her and Boyan. Um, let's give a hand of applause for Boyan, <laughs> our first man. And of course, Joan La Barbara. The last piece for tonight will be a Feldman composition only. Only when flight shall soar not for its own sake only up into heaven's lonely silence and be no more merely the lightly profiling proudly successful tool laymate of winds Beguiling time there, careless and cool. Only when some pure wither outweighs boyish insistence on the achieved machine with whom 
has journeyed thither be in that fading distance all that his flight has 